Artwork seems to be the bane of most filmmakers' existence, and yet it seems to be one of the items that they think about most. What do I mean by that exactly, and what am I talking about with artwork? The poster. The thing that gets film snobs like you or I to go to a theater or to click on Netflix. You absolutely need to create an effective poster in order to get people to watch your film. However, that's only part of the battle when it comes to indie film distribution. Platforms like Amazon Prime Video Direct or Film Hub do have a bunch of requirements that makes this a little complicated. So in this video, I'm going to be going over what you need to know to submit on platforms like Amazon and Film Hub and get your poster art right. Let's get into it. I want to emphasize something right away. I cannot stress this enough. You are going to need a layered image file in order to do all the size requirements that each of these platforms will need. Most people don't understand what I'm talking about when I say layered image file. I created my poster art inside of Adobe Photoshop like you can see here. Now when I say layered image file, I mean that everything is sort of a layer on this poster art. So we have the image, so all this right here in the background is an image that I took on a camera. We have the text for all the names of the people in the movie. We have the text for the title of the movie itself, and then we have the text for the written directed by me, yada, yada. Each one of these elements is a layer. So for an example, I can take my name out if I need to, or I can take out the actor's names if I need to, or I can move this caching out text if I need to. That's what I'm talking about when I say layered image file. This file I have right here is a layered Photoshop file. You're gonna have a really difficult time creating all this different sizes and stuff that Amazon and Film Hub require if you're not able to move the text and other pieces around like that. A lot of people inquire to me about helping them with their films and honestly, like I can't do what I need to do if you just give me a JPEG or a PNG file. If you are getting poster art made, make sure you are emphasizing with whoever your graphic designer is that you need a PSD Photoshop file or some other layered image file like this. You can stack everything on top of each other. So now that we got that out of the way, let's talk about some of the requirements of both Amazon and Film Hub. They're pretty much going to be the same. So aside from maybe some size differences and some minor tweaks, you should be able to pretty much do the same thing between both platforms. So I will have both of these linked in the description for easy reference, but let's go over Amazon's really quick. I'm not gonna get too much into the weeds here just because you can read this on your own time and I wanna try to keep this video as consumable as possible. So for the editorial requirements, when present in artwork, title treatment must be clearly displayed and legible even when shown on smaller devices. If not, an alternate, an alternate must be created. Season level images should be contain the title treatment only and no additional text like season number or volume number. Prime Video sometimes adds an icon in the upper left hand corner of the image for titles. To avoid overlap, we require that your images do not include critical material in this area. The sizes of those icons vary depending on the device. There's some stuff for TV here, but I'm not gonna get into that because I'm talking about films specifically. And of course they recommend having stuff within the safe zones. Restricted content, logos or callouts. So don't put any logos or marks, watermarks, etc. No credits, no laurels. So keep your actors out, keep any film festivals out. Like they just want it clean. So like for this example here, I know it says Amazon original, but you know, it's Amazon's movie or whatever this is. So of course they can put that at the top, but it's just a an image and the title. Down here, the same thing, image and then title with the exception of this Amazon original. And then here's some other things of stuff that they require, such as like not having borders, sex and nudity, adult language, legibility, legibility drugs, violence, spoilers, etc. So I'm gonna let you read that on your own time. I'm just gonna show you specifically how to create these files yourself. It's up to you to make sure that everything, you know, fits within their requirements. And there's a couple other things so you can't stretch it. So you can see here with this Manchester by the Sea, they have it just stretched in a couple different ways. You can't do that. It needs to fit uniformly. You can't do something goofy like here with these three different images in the title. You can't just you know, crop your poster and have bars on the side like that. And your poster needs to fit within the whole 16 by nine frame. So keep that in mind. So for your main arts, you're gonna have to have a 16 by nine, 19 by 20 
by 1080 JPEG or PNG file. They also require a three by four, 1200 by 1600 JPEG or PNG. And if you have a background image, which you know isn't necessarily required, that's also 1920 by 1080. So all this is pretty simple, so long as you you know read everything that they are allow and don't allow and just follow the simple requirements. So now we'll hop over to Film Hub really quick. They have a bunch of different sizes. I'm not gonna go over these individually. I'll show you how to create a couple of these or how I've done it in the past. But you know, if you need a list of all the different sizes, they're listed here, but they're also listed as you're going through all the metadata when you actually upload to Film Hub. And then they have some different sizes for TV shows too. So they actually have some please do's and please do not. Include the title of your film, match the title and the artwork the same as the title submitted, ensure it's readable at a thumbnail size, use the same imagery and fonts. And this is the same thing for Amazon. Your Everything needs to look consistent. So you can't have one poster art design. I'll show you really quick here in Photoshop because I have two different poster designs. So we have poster design number one. If you have a second poster, you can't change that. It needs to, all of your artwork, you need to choose one image and each size needs to look relatively the same. Submit a JPEG or PNG. They have some best practices. Please do not nest or collage. It's, it's pretty much all the same do nots as Amazon. So I'm not really gonna get into that here. So like they got the goofy, you know, images like that. And then this one has um, a subtitle right here and laurels, which you can't have right here. Clean image, title, you know, everything looks the same. So these two images pretty much look the same relatively. You can't crop in like that and you can't stretch the image. And of course with both platforms, try to keep in mind this safe zone with your text and all that in case they have to do any cropping on any of the different platforms. So let's actually go into Photoshop and let's create a couple samples so that way you can kind of get an idea of what you're gonna have to do. So there's two things wrong with my poster art right off the bat. I have a border here, which they don't allow borders. They, I have my actor's names, and then I have my name here at the bottom. So all I'm really allowed to have is this main background here and my title. So we're gonna go ahead and create a new file, and then we're gonna go ahead and start with the two by three because that's gonna be pretty close to what we have now. So their two by three is 1400 by 2100, and we're gonna leave resolution at 300. So now what I can do is I'm gonna copy my background, paste it into here. It's gonna be massive, so I'm gonna have to shrink this down. Okay, so now let's go ahead and fit this. So it's not gonna fit 100%, but again, we can't have borders. Okay, so we got that. And now let's copy my text, just the logo. So I'll make my caching out here a little bit smaller. And I'm gonna center that, make it a little bit bigger just cause I need to fill in some negative space. So we'll get that roughly in the center where to go. Okay, close enough. So this is a, essentially what my poster is gonna look like. And then from there, you're gonna to wanna to try to create multiple versions of this. So I'm gonna to have to create a 16 by nine image as well. So I'm gonna to go to new and let's create, their 16 by nine is 19 by 20 by 1080. And we'll do the same thing. So this is gonna look a little bit different. I actually moved some elements around here. So this isn't gonna be a very good accurate representation of what I actually would do here. But for the sake of the tutorial, I'm just gonna do this. Let's make that a little smaller so we can at least see the poker chips a little bit. So we can't see much here, but just for the sake of the tutorial, we're going to do that. And I'll actually show you all of my artwork that I submitted on Film Hub. So this is roughly what it's gonna look like. And then both of these look similar enough to where this is gonna get accepted by the QC. Now I'm gonna log into Film Hub really quick and I'm gonna show you what all my post art looks like so you can kind of get an idea of how to move things around if you need to do this yourself. So here on Film Hub, you can see I've got all the different artwork and I change things around quite a bit. So like I move the cards and the money and the poker chips and the ski mask around. And then I have these laid out in all these different 
aspect ratios that they ask for. Some of these are optional, so you can keep that in mind. But honestly, like most of these are pretty close. So like the 16 by nine is gonna be pretty similar to this 16 by six or this four by three or this two by one. Those are all pretty similar. And then your two by three and your three by four are gonna be pretty much the same too. So you don't really have any reason not to. And you don't want to give them any reason not to, you know, accept your film for some reason. So I would definitely recommend creating poster art for all of these. Obviously, I'm only spending a couple seconds on this, so you're gonna to wanna to spend some more time to make sure everything is formatted correctly. But this gives you an idea of what they mean by like all your post art needs to look the same. And then for Amazon, you can see down here at the bottom, they did allow the actors' names, which I'm a little confused about, but I would probably change this at this point to match what I've done on Film Hub. You don't have to, but you can. And then I have my Prime icon here, which should be the same as my Film Hub one. So here's my 16 by nine. You can see that matches pretty much with the one for Amazon Prime. So try to make everything relatively the same so that way it's universal between both platforms. Okay, let's go ahead and look at how to export one of these really quick. So I have my Prime icon right here. So let's say you're all said and done, you got all of your sizes figured out. Again, the, all the sizes as far as resolution are in the link in the description on Film Hub or Amazon. Amazon's pretty easy. It's only 1920 by 1080. I don't remember the four by three, but again, that will be included in the description. And then Film Hub has various sizes that I will have listed in the description as well. But let's say that you needed to export this. Let's go ahead, you, in Photoshop at least, this is gonna be different from platform to platform, but here's how to do it in Photoshop at least. So you're gonna hit File, Export, and then you're gonna go Export As. And then again, they recommend either a JPEG or PNG. A JPEG is gonna be a lot smaller than a PNG, so it's a little bit more manageable size. If you want something a little higher quality, I would definitely go with PNG, but again, that's up to you. And then we wanna make sure, so this is a little bit bigger. I usually make all of my sizes a little bit bigger just so they're higher resolution. And then I can bring them down a little bit if needed. So we need to make this 1920 by 1080 and this should automatically do it. So 50% of the size that it was. And then all you have to do is hit export, that's it. And you're gonna do this for every single one of your different sizes. And that's pretty much it. I mean, it's really simple so long as you have that layered Photoshop file or image file like I had talked about. If you are using a JPEG file, then you're gonna have to figure out either how to take off the text. So, you know, like Photoshop is a lot more advanced than when I was using it before. So let's say, you know, I needed to get rid of all of my actors' names so I could, you know, rope it here, which that was pretty poor. Let me do that again. So if I needed to get rid of the actor's names right here, so what I could do is I could, you know, cut that out by itself. And then I could also just get rid of it if I need to. With the generative AI fill, so we'll let that do its thing here. So I could at least get rid of all the text and stuff like that, and then I'd be able to move it around if needed. So that didn't do the best job because you can definitely tell that something was there at some point, but you do have the option to do that. But again, this is why I stress so much, get that layered Photoshop file. It's gonna make your life so much easier. And honestly, any QC problems that you might have is just that you have, you know, laurels, you have website links, you, you know, you're just not following the directions like I had talked about. All you can have for your artwork on both platforms, just to create, keep it universal, is your main image file and the text title for the movie. And the text title for the movie needs to match what you put in Amazon or Film Hub. So you can't have some other, you know, if my film was called Cashing Out and then on the poster art I put something else, that's obviously not gonna work. My title's Cashing Out and it needs to say Cashing Out on the poster art and it matches exactly what it shows on you know, the poster. And the same pretty much goes for Amazon. I will link the common issues that I see the most in the description if you want to go over that yourself on your own time. But if there are issues I've not listed, feel free to comment those in the comments or send me an email, which is linked to my bio, and I will answer those questions as best as I possibly can. And of course, if you were looking to take the next step and actually submit to Amazon or Film Hub, 
be sure to check out these videos right here. One should be for Amazon, the other one should be for Film Hub and actually how to upload to both of those platforms. I got an easy to follow tutorial on both of those videos. But other than that, thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next one.